<laughs> what we did in the last couple of videos was go to Dirk's studio and take a look at some of the paintings that he was working on and or, or he had just recently finished and some of the structures, some of the objects that he was working on. And in those in those two videos, we saw one painting where he had incorporated the golden rectangle in the background uh, it, in, in the painting itself. And we looked at one of the structures that he put together using the golden rectangle, right? One of the objects that he put together using the golden rectangle. And he sort of went off on working with the golden rectangle and incorporate the concept of the golden rectangle in more paintings and more objects that we didn't get a chance to look at. But if you do want to see how he, he did that, you can go to his website and take a look at some of the high resolution pictures he has on his site. And he mentions where he's used the golden rectangle, how he's ended up using the golden rectangle in, the, in those paintings, in those objects, okay? What we're going to do in this video is go back to Dirk's studio and uh, take a look at a couple of other objects that he's been working on, sort of moved on from the golden rectangle, and he's working with three-dimensional objects, specifically putting together a buckyball and a rhombal casodo decahedron with bamboo. So what we're going to do right now is uh, Dirk's going to show us the process this, that he goes through to make these things and basically it requires a lot of measurement a lot of exact measurement a lot of exact cutting and uh, you know putting the pieces together and he basically starts off from uh, bamboo that he has where do you get the bamboo from uh, from uh, the backyard from the backyard he gets he goes to the backyard grabs the bamboo cuts it up uh, organizes things according to their sizes according to um, you know how thick they are cuts them up and then measures a certain angle he's he does the calculations to figure out what a, what angle he needs on these things and basically starts putting these things together okay uh, and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to go through and uh, he's going to show us how he does these things so he takes the bamboo and duct tape around the bamboo and then he set up the piece of wood with the appropriate angle on it. I just I'm just gonna tape it off like this so it doesn't splinter too much. Okay. Yeah like this you hold it. Okay that's one angle. Okay. Now so the cut so this guy here is the, what's the angle again? Uh, that's like 36 degrees. Oh, 36 degrees, uh, written right there. Yeah. 36. So that's 36 degrees, one side of the angle, and... Mm -hmm. Now the other one uh, that I just cut, because I cut it like this, and I just uh, turn it around, I fit it into this, into the guide here. Okay, you're going to okay. so tape, oh no, okay. I, uh, like if I uh, you don't tape, it'll uh, splinter completely, so I put the tape on like this. Zip. And I put it in here. Mm -hmm. and hold right here, and then I put the solder. Cool. Okay, now I have another side. Now I have, you know, once side that's like this. Ah, okay. Okay. So one side of the Pentagon, and it fits like this. So these would go like this, put together like that. Like that. Cool. So once you have five of these things, well, then I uh, then I put the zap strap inside. Yeah, yeah. And I tighten it so that it becomes, you know, uh, you know, flexible, uh, but it stays together. Here's a, one of the pentagons, and he's what he's putting in. He connects them with the. I don't know if you can see this, but the zap strap inside all of these. So let's make one. Okay. Now we have this. I sand it off a little bit so that like this. Okay, now I have, you know, five all together. So I just begin with one, and I just put it in here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, do, 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 can you do it on the camera? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we got ten of these, uh, five of these guys, right? Five of these. Okay, then I put the next one in here. That's a little bit complicated. Keep the end piece so it doesn't fall out. Put this in here. Another one in here, and then the last one. Right, like this. It sticks out. Okay, now I connect it. Let's go like this. Oh, okay, before before you pull, oh. okay. This is uh, before I pull it, and then I make it, you know, really tight. I just pull it like this. More. Let's pull it, and so it's like this. This end piece I cut off with some 
some clippers. And oh, that's cool. Inside. So yeah. this is another one. It's a little bit thicker, but it has the same, you know, dimension. All right. So we just made this one. This is the original one when we showed. There are different sizes because what he's done is gone through with the bamboos and cut up the bamboo from the backyard and separated the bamboo pieces according to the thickness. Exactly. And that stuff is over. So he's got bags of this stuff, right? With a different number and numbered. Yeah, this is bag number seven. So. Oh yeah, bag number seven. And seven is. And five. And seven has to be bigger than five. Ah, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, five is a little bit smaller. I mean. And here's a seven. Yeah, I mean slightly. Slightly. But, it's, but you have, but you have to have, you have to be that exact to be able to make sure that this thing, these objects that he's making are symmetrical and they fit perfectly and they balance, right? So seven, the thicker one goes here and five is a smaller one. Um, I need, I need to make uh, 12 uh, pentagons. You need to make 12 of them. I, uh, 12 pentagons. Um, I need uh, 30 squares. And I need yeah, 20 uh, triangles in order ah. to make one of these. Okay, okay. How? 12 pentagons? Uh -huh, yeah, 12 pentagons. 30 squares. Uh, 30 squares and uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 triangles. 20 triangles. And all of these things, so the pentagons have the angle measurement of 36. Mm -hmm. And the squares are 45, I would assume. Yeah, yeah the 45. Squares, the squares are 45. And the triangles would be uh, 60, so... So I pull it so that when I cut off, well, I just, you know, this one I broke off. It's very, very thin, this abstract, this, this, this cable ties. So now I have a thing, a pentagon and a triangle. Okay, they Fit would never together go together like this on there because the the triangle always connects uh, to the uh, to the square. But you know the size is right. So if I have this size, perfect. It's perfect. Everything has the same you know length you know from like like edge to edge. Ah, okay. Everything is uh, uh, that's the same as the pentagon too. Ah, that's cool. Okay. So see, uh, I made this one yesterday. And you can see it's still green. You know, this is an older piece. Uh, this is an older piece. Uh, these uh, are newer pieces. So, uh, are, are these are these going to go yellow? The green ones will go yellow over um, time. Like eventually, they'll they'll uh, uh, you look like that. Ah, okay. So they'll go like that. Okay. So the green color. Let's show you the colors. So so the green color over time is going to turn into this color, right? Bamboo. So this was this was your experiment working with these things. Yeah, yeah, uh, that Basically. was the first one I've ever done. This one. Yeah. Make and a bamboo soccer one, ball. You know, I guess. Because of the triangles, it was a lot more complicated. But it's not as nice as that one. I like that one the most. It's a soccer ball. Yeah. It's a it's a C60 carbon molecule. C60 uh, yes. carbon buckyball. Uh huh. And what's the angle on the hexagons? Uh, that's uh, yeah, 30 degrees. Okay, cool. So that's uh, that's one of the things, uh, structures that Dirk's been working on, okay? And uh, we've, we've already taken a look at um, paintings he's done, chaotic, grid-based, and we took a look at some of the other structures that he's done, okay? Um, and this is what Dirk, Dirk does, uh, this is what we're working on, right? He, he does multitasking, a lot of different projects going at the same time, and using a lot of mathematics in his work, uh, just angles, symmetry, and uh, just starting out with something basic, uh, trying it out, you know, one shape, one angle, one cut, and then introducing multiple other, other cuts, and seeing where that goes and that with the experience of him figuring out how to do this stuff uh like he said he's going to work towards building something uh larger And the triangles are upside down. So the triangles are actually the other way around too. Uh -huh. So the squares are perfectly. 
everything is like you know the reverse of itself yeah, the reverse of itself. the mirror the mirror flipped of itself yeah mm-hmm. so it's a so it's a mirror about the diameter of this thing mm-hmm. and a flip a reflection yeah. uh-huh. ah that's cool what's it called again what's it called again the this is called well i have it written down here Oh, maybe you can, maybe you can. Rumba. It's a rum. It's a rum be cozy do decahedron. Rumba do cozy. Okay, hold on. Let me put this thing here. Okay. We're both uh, not very good at pronouncing things. So we're going to write it down for you. What does this say? Can you see this? There it is. That's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Okay. That was awesome. You're yeah. <laughs> Ramba Kasodo Dekihedron. Ramba Dako. Ram. Ram. Rambo. Ramba. 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 Kosa. B. Kosi. Ramba. Kosa Kosi Do Rambe Decahedron Kosi Rambo Deco Doka Dokahedron Dakota <laughs>